Hey, welcome to Freaky. I'm Dan. We've got three wicked stories for you again this week. Man, I hate junk mail. I don't want to go all educational on you, but did you know that 62 million trees are cut down every year just to make this stuff? That's a lot of trees. Hey, Dan, you got the mail yet? Uh, yeah, coming. Girl. Oh, it's my first day. Your first day reading? You're a bit old, aren't you? No, what I mean. Oh, get lost. Take it easy. Bad things happen to those who ignore the signs. What a freak. Piece of cake. Did I give you one too many? I'm sure I counted them right. Oh, yeah. Um, it was just the last house that had a no junk mouse in it, so I left it. Well, you don't worry about those. I get paid to advertise to every house, so you deliver to every house. It's all right. Go back and deliver it now, then. Is there a fit it tomorrow? It's just my mum wants me home by six. <sighs> all right. Just make sure you do it first thing tomorrow. Horrible dream. Two, actually. Well, luckily for you, it's time to get up. Now get up. Come on.
Octopus. Was that you making that noise? Another one. really freaky.
the steers will call A Greg. Carolyn. Hey, how did you know my name? <laughs> ah! I know most of these, Greg. <laughs> In fact, I'd be very careful about what's behind you. <laughs> Okay, Greg. It's gonna be okay. I know it's a bit freaky, but everything is gonna be fine. I wouldn't be so sure about that. Greg! Karen? Yeah, I think it went great, eh? These voice changing things are really cool. Yeah, they're really good. Your choice, man. I'll catch you later. See ya. Mike, can we get someone to look at that sink? That's the second time I've tried to bust through and haven't been able to. Sure, I'll have the guys look at it. It really hurts. We got another one at five, remember? All right. I don't understand you, kids. How can you possibly enjoy that? Believe me, Mike, it was awesome. We've got one of those principals who doesn't tell us off. He just gives us a big friendly talk. He says he just wants to be our Prince of Pal. It's so lame. Next! Sam, old buddy! Take a seat, mate! You might learn to set that alarm clock. You can't always... Age? Gender? Their likes and dislikes? Their greatest fear? Greatest... Just a geek. Good morning, Joshua. The principal will see you now. I appreciate that, Mrs. Conway, but I stand by my decision. Your daughter is expelled. Goodbye. Joshua Noble has been sent to your office, Mr. Riley. Joshua Noble. My bad day just got worse. Late again, were we? It was my alarm clock. Oh, your alarm clock. The dog ate it, I suppose. While he was chowing down on your homework, perhaps? No, it just... Save your excuses. One week's detention. It sucks. Sorry? That sucks, does it? You put yourself in my shoes for once. Can you even imagine how much more it sucks doing my job? I do a hundred times what you do. I start an hour earlier, and I haven't once been late for school. From now on, neither will you. Two weeks detention. Ma! 
Must be hurting sleeping. wants an answer today on the new weight machine he wants for the gym. Can I tell him yes or no? Your call. Mm, yeah. Great. That's him up the back. Wish I could make snap decisions like that, but I guess that's why you're the principal. today? Eh? Lunch? What do you want for lunch? Fish and chips. A large bottle of coke. Fifteen dollars worth of lollies. And can I get an Xbox in this office? <laughs> okay. Half an hour to complete this test. Uh, uh, Mr. Mr. Noble. Forget it, Mrs. Bond. Pack your bags and empty your drawers. I'm sorry. You're fired. We don't tolerate teachers picking on students in the school. But now, Mrs. Bond. <coughs> right, class. Forget the test. You've all passed. You can have the rest of the day off. Yes. yes. Except you. I don't like bullies in the school. You're expelled. So, can anyone tell me what the reaction between the two chemicals in this test tube will be? Ah, just a I want to let you know that I've cancelled science and will now be called Xbox Training. I want you to order 30 consoles and 30 widescreen TVs. So, yes, see you boys here. Yeah! <laughs> and gone to town? Um, no, sir. Sorry, sir. Sir, we should be going back to class now. Yeah, class. Class? Sir, come on, guys, it's me, Josh. Huh. Come to town. He's losing it, bro. Two things. I've ordered the DVDs you wanted, and before you go in there, the school... Is that right, Joshua? Well, that's how we thought you felt. Who? We've had reports of your performance. The board's not impressed. $96,000 spent on Xboxes and widescreen TVs, and that's just today. No. You fired a teacher for no reason. What if she takes you to court? Have you fired Judith? She's given 30 years to the school. Yeah, but she was... We'll fight you on this. How dare you expel my daughter just because you don't like her? That's outrageous. Sorry, Joshua, I've got some parents on the line. They're angry their kids were sent home without them knowing. And did you request a skating ramp to be installed in the library? What? The skating ramp? You've got to be kidding me. Well, soon. I'm going to take you to court. I'm going to take you to court. I'm going to take you to court. Oh, what do you want? I was late for class, sir, because... Save it! A week's detention! That sucks. Sorry? That sucks, does it? 
Put yourself in my shoes for once. Can you even imagine how much more it sucks doing my job? Well, can you? Can you even imagine... It sucks doing my yeah, job? Yeah, I can, actually. You can. And doing your job sucks big time. Well, good. I'm glad you see things my way. I'll let you off that detention, but don't be late again, all right? No, sir. Thank you, sir. Man, I'd hate to be that dead cheers. So, think positive, mate. Another lame speech from my best buddy. If I was my principal, I think I'd just retire. Anyway, I'm off to start a month's detention. But I'll still be back next week with three more freaky stories. I'll catch you then. Next! Good luck. Take a seat, Marsh! This program was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.